Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you 2024 Peugeot 208 facelift first look review and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Ending the Volkswagen Golf's long running reign, the Peugeot 208 was named Europe's best-selling car in 2022 when it was also the most popular model in its domestic market. To maintain the strong sales momentum, the French mark part Stellantis is giving its subcompact hatchback a nip and tuck for the 2024 model year. It's shown here in the purely electric E208 guys, but the gasoline model is getting the same updates inside and out. Mirroring the tweaks we saw a couple of months ago on the 2008 facelift, the crossover super mini version finally switches to Peugeot's updated Lion badge. The three-claw motif is accentuated on the flagship GT trim level where the familiar light signature extends into the full LED headlights to create a visual connection with the vertical bars mounted in the bumper. The grille has a different pattern now and comes with body-colored accents to make it blend in with the bumper. This new face was originally introduced on the 9x8 endurance race car before the restyled 508 sedan and wagon became the first road cars to adopt the revised front fascia. Peugeot also has fresh 16 and 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheel designs with a two tone finish while hiding the four lug nuts behind an X shaped center cap with the new corporate logo. The color used for the badging is also new, basalt gray, while the E for the purely electric model now comes in blue and white. As for the cabin, it has been largely carried over, which isn't a bad thing since the 208 already had one of the most modern interiors in its segment thanks to the eye cockpit. Going forward, all trim levels get a 10-inch touchscreen as standard equipment while the digital instrument cluster of the same size has a new design, plus a 3D effect on the GT model. Stick to the base active version and it still has analog dials flanking a 3.5-inch display. Other changes include new ambient lighting for the 208 GT while the versions equipped with a 6-speed manual transmission get a revised gearshift knob. The automatic models retain the selector Peugeot has been putting inside the car since early 2022. The steering wheel had to be updated to include the new logo, and its badge is also fresh. Black Alcantara upholstery with Adamite green stitching is now optionally available on the GT, which also gets Adamite green accents on the armrests and dashboard. Rounding off the changes on the inside are extra USB ports, with the 208 Allure in GT getting three USB-C sockets as standard, two at the front, one in the rear, plus a USB-A port in the back. Speaking of charging your devices, the facelift also comes along with a beefier wireless charging pad, from 5W to 15W, which is standard on the GT model and optional on the Allure. Higher definition cameras should make parking easier. As far as engines are concerned, the cheapest version gets a 1. 2-liter, Two 3-cylinder Two unit sending 75 horsepower to the front wheels via a 5-speed manual transmission. The more potent 100-horsepower variant is linked to a 6-speed manual. You'll be getting a 6-speed, dual-clutch automatic by ordering the 208 with a mild hybrid engine making either 100 or 136 horsepower. The E208 is motivated by an electric motor rated at 156 horsepower that gets its juice from a 51 kWh battery pack with enough energy for 249 miles 400 kilometers, in the WLTP combined cycle. 